when uh, there are a million stories about Marilyn Monroe, John F. Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, do you, do you think there is something true about it? Well, what, what happens is that uh, stars can become famous by associating with famous people. Politicians can become famous by associating with famous stars. So they use each other this way. So the, the star gets promoted to a good part in a movie and the uh, politician gets elected. And they use each other that way. They, uh, they always want to say, now there's, there's people that, that are out there that say that uh, they have uh, witnessed her, in fact the guy's dead now, witnessed her in bed with, with Kennedy or something like that, or he taped the sound of them in bed. Uh, the man that, that made that statement, supposedly made that tape, uh, actually his credibility was in great doubt all the time. And I think that he would have said anything if you paid him enough. Mm. So he got paid and that was the end of that. The vice president uh, recently uh, predicted that we would someday have a woman president. It uh, might be discounted to a degree because he was being at a woman's college, but uh, I do uh, want to say that it seems to me we got a promising candidate here. <laughs> so that uh, I want to express my great pleasure in awarding this to you, and which is very richly deserved for a whole variety of public services. Thank you. you want to say a word? <laughs> Mr. President, and Mr. Attorney General, and other honored guests who were too numerous to name, I didn't prepare any remarks, but I'd only like to say that there are so many people that go into helping you to win an award like this, but most of all, there is an administration that would care enough about young people to bestow an award like this. I'd like to thank you so much. I think that's very nice. <laughs> 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 be old enough in 64.